UFC Fight Night Blanchfield vs. Fjord, otherwise billed as UFC Atlantic City, took place on March 30th in front of a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The event brought in $2.2 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention revenue from sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters actually take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Reese McKee looked sharp in a close first round against fellow welterweight Chidi and Jokuani. However, from the second round on, he was unable or unwilling to mount much of an offense at all, as in Jokuani outstruck him 6-1 and displayed a perfect takedown defense. The scorecards came down as a controversial split decision win for Chidi and Jokuani, with much outcry from the MMA community over how any judge could give the win to McKee. With the loss, McKee brought in $12,000 to show and $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for $16,500 on the night. While Njokuani earned $22,000 to show and $22,000 for the win, along with $6,000 in Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $50,000. In the second fight, featherweights Bill Algio and Kyle Nelson came out swinging in a round that saw Nelson score a knockdown around 30 seconds in. Algio kept it together and almost made it out of the round until Nelson landed a huge right hook that wobbled him and followed it up with big shots that led to the standing knockout. It was arguably premature and although Algio was taking heavy punishment, he immediately protested the stoppage. But the call had already been made, handing Nelson the TKO victory. Algio earned $30,000 to show and $6,000 in Fight Week incentive and took home $36,000. While Nelson made $36,000 to show and $36,000 for the win, $6,000 in Fight Week incentive and a total of $78,000. The third fight saw another bizarre first round finish as three minutes into the fight, Cedricus Dumas turned away from the action to complain of an eye poke without the referee calling a timeout. Nursultan Ruzi Boev took advantage, continuing to throw punches and ultimately scoring a knockdown with a nasty uppercut. He finished Dumas off with ground and pound against the cage for the knockout victory. Dumas took home $20,000 to show and $4,500 in fight week incentive for $24,500 on the night. While Ruzi Boev made $12,000 to show and $12,000 for the win, $4,000 in fight week incentive for a total of $28,000. The fourth fight saw veteran Chris Weidman come out fast against fellow middleweight Bruno Silva, landing punches, kicks, and knees, and putting Silva in some trouble early. While he used his wrestling to ride out the round, the rest of the fight was striking heavy and fairly evenly matched. In the final round, what appeared to be a TKO victory for Weidman upon further review showed a double eye poke that led to the knockdown and stoppage. While it was called a TKO at the time, it was later revised to a technical decision, but the victor remained the same as Weidman took home the win. Bruno Silva earned $48,000 to show with $6,000 in Fight Week incentive and took home $54,000 and the former champ Chris Weidman brought home a whopping $410,000 guaranteed along with $16,000 in Fight Week incentive for by far the biggest paycheck of the night at $426,000. In the co-main event, Joaquin Buckley was able to dictate the pace against fellow welterweight Vicente Luque with well-timed kicks and big power shots. In the second round, he took top control after a failed takedown attempt by Luque and rained down punches until the fight was called, giving him the TKO victory and making it his third win in a row at 170 pounds. Luque made $125,000 to show, along with $21,000 in fight week incentive, for a total of $146,000. While Buckley brought in $75,000 to show and $75 for the win, $11,000 in Fight Week incentive, and a total of $161,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Manon Fjord defeated Aaron Blanchfield by unanimous decision in a flyweight number one contenders fight. Right out of the gate, Fjord survived a deep guillotine that almost ended the fight in the first round. She was able to ride it out, and apart from that moment, outclassed Blanchfield on the feet and neutralized her wrestling for the majority of the fight. Blanchfield had moments, but the scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Men on Fjord. Blanchfield brought home $50,000 to show and $6,000 in Fight Week incentive for $56,000 on the night. And the winner, Men on Fjord, raked in $54,000 to show and another $54,000 for the win. $6,000 in Fight Week incentive, coming out to a total of $114,000. The New Jersey State Athletic Control Board does not disclose fighter pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.